Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the WordPress video series. In this video, I'll show you how you can customize the single blog post layout in the Astra theme. In previous videos, I have shown you how you can customize the header section, the footer section, the blog page, as well as the WooCommerce layouts in the Astra theme. If you want to watch those videos, I'll give you links in the description box. Now, in this video, we are going to customize the single blog post layout in the Astra theme. So on this dummy WordPress website, I'm using Astra theme. And this is the default layout of the single blog post in the Astra theme. Here I have the featured image, then I have the title, the category and the metadata of the blog post. And below that we have the content of the blog post. Now we are going to customize this layout. To customize the layout, you will see the customize option here, or you can go to the dashboard, then go to appearance and go to customize. All right, so we are on the customization option and here you will see the option blog, click on it. And this is the blog archive, which will show all the blog posts on the single page. And this is the single post layout. So click on single post. Now here we can go to one of the blog posts or uh, instead of that, we can go to this blog post and click on customize here. All right, so we are on the single post customization. Let's go back to blog and click on single post. Now we will see how does this look. So this is the container layout. So I'm going to keep it on default. No need to make any changes here. Now we want to add the sidebar in the post layout. So you will see the sidebar layout here. And I want to add a right sidebar. So click on right sidebar. And you will see the right sidebar here. Now in order to customize the right sidebar, you can simply click on this and you can customize it from here. Or you can go to dashboard go to appearance and then go to widgets. And in the widgets, you will see all these options. This is the search bar. Then we have recent post, recent comments, archive categories, and you will see all that here. Search, recent post, recent comment, archives and categories. So if you want to delete any one of these fields, you can simply delete from here, go to widgets and delete from here. Or if you want to add new block, you can simply click on the plus sign and search for the block that you want to add and it will get added in the sidebar. Right, so this is how you can customize the sidebar. The next option is the sidebar layout. You can make it unboxed. You will see the boxes are gone or you can make it boxed and you will see the box around each element. This is the content width. This is how it will look. We have the right sidebar here. Now, all the other options are available for the Pro plugin only. So we will install the Pro plugin also. Now here you will see the option enable a related post. If you enable it, it will show the related post at the bottom of this blog post. You will see it here. These are the two related posts. And below that we have leave a comment. You will see the customization options for the related post. This is for the title. You can center align it. This is the title and how many related posts you want to show right now it is set to two and this is the column two. So we have selected two columns. So it will show two columns and two blog posts. Right now, this is the dummy WordPress website and I have only three blog posts on this dummy website. Now below that you will see the post structure. We have featured image and the title and post meta. So featured image, title and post meta. This is the meta comments, category and author. You will see comments, category and author. So if you do not want any one of these meta, you can simply hide them. You will see all these meta are gone. Now, if I go to design here, you will see the design option. However, this design option is only for the related post. You will see it here. If you want to change the title, you can change the title color. You will see the change here. And this is the section background. If I change the color of the section background, you will see it here. Now to customize the other post settings, you need the Astra Pro plugin. Let's go back to general. Here at the top, you will see post title. If I disable it, the post title will go away along with the featured image. So I'm going to enable it. So this is the featured image for this blog post. 
All right now let's publish it now i do have the pro version of the astro plugin so i'm going to install it and let's see what else we can customize using the astro pro plugin so let's go back to dashboard go to plugins and click on add new click on upload plugin i have it downloaded so i'm going to upload the plugin click on install now click on activate plugin all right so the astra pro is installed if i go to astra option here so we are on the astra settings and here you will see some astra pro models that you will need to enable otherwise you will not be able to use the customization right now the astra pro plugin is activated and if i go to customization again i will not see the options here you will see the same options are still there because we have not enabled these models we are going to enable these models first so let's enable colors and background typography spacing block pro sticky header site layout i'm going to enable all these options now let's go back and refresh it let's go to blog and single post again single post now if i scroll down you will see all these options are available so if you want to enable author info you can simply enable it and it will show the author info this is how it will look you need to customize the author info if you go here to edit profile you will see the option to edit the profile of the author you can add some information about the author and it will show here if you do not want it you can disable it next option is disable single post navigation then we have auto load previous post and remove featured image padding so you will see the featured image here and if there is any padding it will remove the padding now below that we have enable social sharing so it will enable the social sharing on the post and these are the options enable label so i'm going to enable these options we will save the layout and we will see how does this look below that we have icon position this is for the social sharing then we have title alignment all right this is for the related post you will see the related post setting that we already covered in the free version let's publish it let's close it now here you will see the social sharing that we have added now let's go back to customize and let's see how we can change the position now below that we have content then author info related post and if there are any comments it will show the comments below let's go back to blog single post actually this is the last post let's go to the second post this is the title then we have the metadata and social sharing author info now if i scroll down again i'm going to disable auto load previous post auto load previous post cannot be previewed in the customizer so i won't be able to see this in the customizer we have it enabled the social sharing you will see it here now these are the four options if you want to add more social icons you can add from here you can make it center align left align enable label so this is the label if i disable it the label will go away and this is the icon position below the post post title so right now it is set to below the post title so this is the post title and below that we have social sharing i can make it below the post now it will move down the other options are left content or right content now let's go to design option and you will see the design option for the social sharing if you want to customize the color you can customize the color this is how it will look then we have icon background color or the background color you will see the icon size you can change the spacing as well as size of the icon below that we have related post and this is the post spacing so let's publish it and refresh it so now you will see that the social sharing is at the bottom of the blog post so this is how you can customize the layout of the single blog post in the astra theme that's it for now see you in the next video do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools.
If you have any questions, please leave us message in comments section. And press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching Quick Tips.